Hey, people. Uh, you haven't heard from me for a little while. Just uh, trying to recover from uh, sickness and injury. I've got a uh, pretty good cold here that got into my lungs and sinuses and just trashed me for the last three weeks. So it's starting to come out of it now. I feel pretty good. Uh, it's out of my lungs now. So get it out of my sinuses and I'll feel a little better. It's giving me some pretty bad sinus headaches and uh, I just feel like crap, you know, so it's kind of hard to do videos when you don't feel good. Uh, you know, not to whine and bitch about all my injuries and stuff, but uh, I hurt my back pretty good there. And I rolled my ankle about three weeks ago pretty bad and just now recovering from that too. So a bad ankle, a bad back, and sick as hell. Oh, just, you know, you're, you're lucky you're getting a video at all, but... Uh, but you know, you guys were wondering what the hell I was up to and stuff, so I figured I'd do a quick video and just have a little chit-chat with y'all and let you know what's going on. Um, been working on this uh, wrought iron work for the big house, and uh, it, it was the piece of iron work. I don't know if you saw that video, but uh, this big house I'm working on... Um, there's some wrought iron above this porch. It's like a multi-million dollar home. So this is quite lovely iron work. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute here, but uh, hold on, hang on there, you know. Don't jump the gun. It's come out pretty nice. So I'm, I'm proud of this stuff. It looks really good. Um, thought I'd give you a couple updates before I show you what's going on there with that. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you remember the video where I was shooting a bow there. Um, you may have noticed if you're a bow hunter or an archer of some kind that that bow was way too small for me. It was meant for somebody around 5'6", five, 5'8", five, 5'10", five, at the most. And I'm 6'2", so you know, I got real long reach, so I need a tall bow, lots of string. So this one here, uh, it's funny because a buddy of mine got this one on a deal somewhere. And I got mine for a deal and just so happened he's a short guy needed a short bow he had a long bow I'm a tall guy needed a long bow and had a short bow so we did a swap and uh, they're actually from around the same time period I believe they don't look technologically much different as far as age goes this is a PSE G-Force I don't know what that means but I'm just guessing it's between 10 and 15 years old this, this bow but it's my size so that's all that really matters I'm no bow hunter, I'm just looking for one for, for playing around the yard and stuff, so I think it'd be perfect for me. And uh, other than that, uh, I went and checked out this waterfall down there. There's waterfalls everywhere around this area. Within about, I don't know, maybe a 10, 20 square mile area, there's probably 10 or 15 beautiful little waterfalls. And, uh, you know, I've only discovered two or three of them, but uh, here, here's one that me and Lawrence went and checked out the other day. What's the name of these falls? No name? Black, Black Brook. Black Brook Falls. pretty awesome isn't it it's amazing absolutely beautiful that must have been uh, I don't know if you could hear what I was saying but I was pointing up to my left there it's very obvious that that's where the waterfall came down originally and it must have been at least 80 feet it wasn't a straight drop it was like a real steep rapid you know probably about 80 degrees so it was pretty steep um, anyway let's move on I'm gonna show you this ironwork here you go. I don't know if you can uh, quite see it for what it is, but um, 
I put this piece of cardboard here so you could sort of see the stuff. Um, this is the center piece here. This will be going over the, the front doors. Um, it's about five, six feet wide. And uh, this here is about 24 inches. But overall, this is it's not a railing, it's more like a trim piece. And uh, it's about 14, 16 inches high, something like that. Uh, made out of three quarter inch square bar scrolls with some half inch uh, smaller scrolls built in there and uh, it's quite big it's this is six, this piece is six feet then it goes to this piece that's uh, almost eight feet then there's another eight foot piece that'll go back at 90 degrees from that to the building and then it's the same thing on the opposite side over here so it's another seven feet and uh, or sorry eight feet and eight feet and those pieces are they're back here hiding. They got posts on them. So the way it works is the pieces that don't have posts, like this piece, here's another one here, uh, it's going to bolt to the the pieces with the posts on them. So, so that's how it's going to work. And uh, I got it all done here. I just got to do a lot of cleanup work and uh, get them painted. So that shouldn't take too long pretty much done and all the, the big the big part of it's done it's a big job so that's what I've been working on me and Patrick both Patrick started it out here and I finished it up so we're uh, we're moving right along and like I said I don't feel too good lately so give me a break please <laughs>